Hey, I'm Rob Fedorik, and it's time to go exploring with Explore. All right, explorers, today we've got something super useful for both beginners and gurus alike. I don't care how good you are at ServiceNow, it still takes lots of time and energy figuring out table structure and how certain applications are built on the platform. I guarantee you, if you spend the next three or four minutes with me, you'll never experience the platform the same way again. Now let's start with a real world example. How much do you know about Incident? Let's see what the out-of-box tools offer us. I'm here at Tables and Columns, and I'm gonna search for Incident. Now it does a simple starts with alphabetical search against the table name, and that's really the limitation. There's no contains, there's no wildcards, and what you land on is basically what you get. Can I see the records? Can I see the forms? What tables are connected to this? Is it a parent or a child to any other table? Does it extend anything? Mm, I don't really know. I could probably maybe look at schema map and see if this can teach me anything about incident and maybe if... Let's try the dictionary table. Here I am at the dictionary entries. I'm gonna search for table name containing incident. And the results are certainly a lot more interesting. Clearly I have a bunch of tables with the word incident in them, but I still feel half blind. How do these tables relate to each other? Can I see the records? Can I see the forms? Do any of these tables extend each other? What tables do they extend? It's useful, but it's still very limited. Now let's see what Explore gives us. I click the glasses. I'm in Explore. I click the table hierarchy. I do have several search options. I could do tables that contain the word I'm gonna search on. I could do tables that start with, and I can do tables of exact name. You also have this option here, search table labels, and this will allow me to use the word incident and search both the table name and the table labels. Now look closely, because this is really the magic of table hierarchy on Explore. Okay, it's given me the tables in hierarchical format. So this major incident trigger rule extends sys metadata. Now I know that anything I put in here will be captured in an update set. Also, I have incident alert, and that is a child of Complan. Wait a minute, Complan? I didn't even know that table existed. But that's the magic of Explore, helping you passively learn about the application as you explore. Okay, so back at our hierarchical search results, we see the conventional incident table and incident task table are both extensions of the task table. And what about the CMDB? I can't tell you how many times I've heard people ask for data dictionaries and visualizations to help them understand its structure. So let me ask you, what tables have anything to do with application? I'm gonna enter that into Explore, and I get a load of results. As I scroll through this, I will eventually find application server or applications in the CMDB. How do I know? It's laid out hierarchically. Base configuration item, CMDB. Configuration item, CMDB CI. Application, CMDB CI application. So beyond the presentation, Explore gives us all kinds of neat goodies that can make our lives easier right here and right now. So I do know that there's tons of, let me just look at the scroll bar. There's tons and tons of other tables that have the word application in it that I am not interested in. I am only interested in the application table within the CMDB. Let's click on that table name. Okay, way shorter scroll bar. And now I'm only looking at that table in context. What does it extend? It extends CMDB CI, which extends CMDB. What extends application? All these tables. And each of these tables have extensions that extend them. I'm seeing the table in context. Now we might be wondering, what does that form look like? Let's check it out. I'm gonna click this open form button and that opens the CMDB CI application form. Now you might be asking, do we actually use this? Are there applications in our CMDB? Why don't we take a look? Let's open up the list of records. There I have my list of 16 application records in the CMDB. And maybe I wanna know about properties of that table. Let's click the open table definition button and that gives us the table definition for that table. Folks, this is one of my favorite parts of Explore and I couldn't know the platform to the depth I do now if I didn't have this tool. I hope it's as helpful to you as it has been for me. As always, friends, hit that subscribe button with the bell because there's tons of new ServiceNow content incoming for architects, developers, beginners, and even those who don't work with ServiceNow. Also, smash that like button for good karma. And lastly, if you need ServiceNow resources with the same passion and depth of understanding that you see here, look in the description for how to contact me. Thanks for watching.